Hey everyone, welcome to the Help Me Rhonda show. Today, I am so excited for my guest. I have Lubav Schlappai, who is from Mind Valley. She's the events coordinator, the global events coordinator for Mind Valley. And I am so excited because she's got a special moment in time and she came over to the studio so we could learn more about what she's doing in this world. You know, on this show, we talk about sexy brands that are doing amazing things. They're leaving an impact, not only on their audience, but around the world. They're taking their passion and they're sharing it with others. And Lubav, I am so excited to have you here. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> Me too. So this is really great because um, you and I have not met personally, yes. although we did meet in Zoom. <laughs> on a Zoom call, yes. right? Because you were having a Mind Valley retreat in Thailand. Yes, right? that's right. A year ago. All I got to say is it was amazing. When I was invited to this mastermind, I was like, what an opportunity to be able to like deeply connect, like intimately with a small group of people and help solve each other's business problems. It was a great one week of total transformation. The experience is just like super amazing. I got to learn at many different levels from the business side, the personal development, and then also the connections have been fantastic. I've learned a lot of things, right? I feel like I came with this idea and now I have like pff, a bunch of ideas. So many people have helped me solve my business problems because they've experienced the things that I've experienced. Well, it's here yeah, now I am here. Yeah. And now I don't have to go through the trial and error and make all the mistakes myself. So the mastermind itself was exactly what I was looking for, both for myself and my family. You got to really have some deep conversations with every single person. Even just as little as one little line or one little comment from someone that to them it may seem like insignificant could be all that you need to really change one aspect of your life forever. I've just been upgraded a thousand times. Amazing, really amazing. What I wasn't able to do for a few years, I was just able to do now in a week. Was the value that I got out of this event worth it? Yes. We combine here everything. Knowledge, inspiration, and practice. What can do better? Because the people that come here are really high quality. So loving, so caring for each other. Um, almost like a family. And we are just like, fully vulnerable and supporting each other growth. That human connection with people that kind of understand what you're going through and can help elevate you instead of push you down, that alone is just worth the experience, I would say. A year ago, so we were my family, we were having a talk with you and we were so excited about joining us. And then my daughter, Hannah Lay, was asked to speak in Paris and we had London Fashion Week. So Brian went along to yes. this event and he came back and he was just so completely transformed. He met such amazing people. Yes. And so you were running that event. Let's let's talk about how that started. Like, how did you first off become the global events coordinator of Mind Valley, uh, an amazing woman from the Ukraine, to living in Malaysia, yes. and now putting on these amazing events? Yeah, I actually don't have a Cinderella story. I've been very intuitive all my life. Yeah. So I've been following science and going with the flow. So when all of my friends and students from university, they started going abroad to Europe to study and then work, I was looking for opportunities to go in Asia. I felt like that's where the world is developing faster. That's where I yeah. could learn more. And I accidentally attended the event where Vision, who is the founder of Mind Valley, was mm -hmm. speaking, and I got so excited about the vision of changing education. I was like, that's the company I'm going to work for. So I ended up in Mind Valley. I've been there for nine years. Wow. I started as a customer support person. So I started like from really low, and then I was running Russian business. So we have a huge like, Russian market where we do events, we translate the products that's available in English into Russian. So I was running that business. And the last three years, I focused on building events, mm -hmm. mostly for Russian speaking audience, but now it's also became global. And it's just a passion of mine to see how people, how much people can transform offline other than online. When meeting in person, we are exposed to much more opportunities and transformation and being 24 hours, like in our event in Thailand, we were seven days all in one resort. There was nobody but us. 
and you're just locked with these 30 people and it's amazing how much you could change your perspective and really get a new family. Yeah, and, and help people really transform. You know, I love the work that Mind Valley does. I mean, Vision and Christina, like, wow, the, the, the impact that they're leaving on the world and just helping transform our mindset, right? And I absolutely love that. And when Brian went to that event, he was so excited because it, it, I, it, was, it was a really different format. Share about the format that you use yeah. because it's so interesting. Most don't do that. It's like, speakers come, we preach to you and teach to you. Exactly. Instead, you did it really differently. That's the thing. That's what I'm telling you. I've been following my intuition and for me the most valuable thing you get from the event is the feedback from the people yeah so doing a lot of conferences and getting people to speak on the stage I got a feedback like you know we got tired we could hear the same talks on yeah. YouTube what's the point of coming to event if it's only speeches so we start experimenting and doing a lot of engagement and activities during our event like for our last event in Mind Valley Life in Istanbul we took people for the whole day out of the conference room in the city in the city center of Istanbul and read, let them run a quest in the city. It was a scavenger hunt. They were looking for signs, different, different tasks in a group of people. They even had a cooking class with the master chef uh, who was a TV presenter in Istanbul. So they got all this experience and bonding. So they actually left the event transformed and having bond, like really dope, a really deep connection with the people who were in their group. And also we produced a musical just in three days of that event. So imagine you come to the event, but it's also your, you know, creativity and yeah. it's the transformation you can get on stage and be performing together with Vision and other speakers on the stage and it all happened within three days of the event. So adding all this little bit of anything extra, just speeches, yeah. get extra value for people and having this feedback that people who come to us, they also already at the level of everyone being a speaker, a successful entrepreneur, mm. they wanted just a platform where they can help each other. I think we are at this stage right now where collaboration and partnerships is something that drives us the most. Mm -hmm. And I decided to bring people together. We didn't have any strict program at all. So for people who are very structured and they expect like something certain, that's not the place to come. Right. We run it with a flow. So I interviewed everyone and see what is the problem that you want to solve. Someone wants to sell their business. Someone wants to go from corporate job and start an NGO. Someone just wants to solve their personal issues in the family and time management. So it doesn't matter what's the question you come with. It's important that you are ready to yourself to change something and also contribute to others. So everyone gets a chance to have a group of 15 people come and together and brainstorm and mastermind and help you solve like from sharing the contacts, like resources, all the learnings. So you like stuck together in one table for two hours and giving, 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 giving. And until you're satisfied, you won't leave that table and also contribute to others. So we get like, for example, Brian to speak about his perfect day. And it was so inspiring. Like yeah. I wrote my perfect day and the rest of the people wrote. And it's it's a platform where you give and take. Yeah. Uh, so that's the idea behind it. It's not a conference. It's a mastermind, but it's not networking. You just not exchange the contacts. You go really deep and we create this bond. We also had amazing other things we do, like sharing circles and, and also one of the participants who brought it. And like we just create co-created. It was a yeah. pure co-creation. I, I mean, I really love it because I think even now, like what's happening in the world. Yeah, we have social media and most people are really more so showing up with just a happy face and this is what's going on for me. And then they go to, you know, they put on their business faces and they yes. might go to retreats and, you know, they come and this is who I am. But coming to something that is completely transformational and you said something that you do, which most would never do that, is you bring them into a space where there are expectations, but they get uncomfortable yeah. because you bring them into a structure that they're really not maybe ready for. Yeah. And that kind of breaks boundaries a bit. Like, what would you say has been like some of the most like, interesting things that have happened or um yeah like something that's really happened that you didn't expect to happen during one of these retreats uh, so i remember this moment perfectly right now i <laughs> i can see it in my eyes <laughs> like the, so we had we built up this tradition when everything is over we had our workshops and we went outside explored the kopangan itself and at night we get together around the swimming pool we lighted the candles, we sit in a circle, like you know our ancestors would do yeah. in front of the fire. So it brings all us together and we pick any topic we want to talk about. Either it's relationships, uh, business, something unrelated at all. And we just share our opinions. And on the last night, it was so unbelievable, magical, that one of our participants 
like who is like really build up man and like you know strong one he was like the most humble and wouldn't share much at all he was in tears and mm. he was saying like i here found my family wow. and it's just unbelievable how in few days you can build such deep connections between people and that you feel more closer to them than to your own family and i think that's the biggest thing we always struggle as entrepreneurs like you know this loneliness yeah. we think that we are the only one and everything depends on us but it's not like that um uh, like for example uh, there is a study of like not study you can google it like how ants like uh, move through the rivers yeah. you know yeah. like they are all connected together one yeah. goes down under the water other yeah. ones goes up and like they all they connect their own bridge. and they can travel like 20 kilometers yeah. like that so i believe that creating such networks and connecting people and knowing like you know like brian texted me would you come for interviews like yeah of course yeah. like being ready to support your family uh is just one of the most important things you can get and i think being vulnerable i think that's something that entrepreneurs tend to not um, open up for they they're afraid to be vulnerable because they think well I run this business and I have clients so I have to show up for them and bringing people into a space that allows them to connect and feel safe mm -hmm. is such a Im important piece you know where um, what are the next events that you guys have coming up like what's happening so in actually the next event is coming just next to Bali there is an island called Lombok oh yeah so it's gonna be there in 20 to 24 of February and I'm sure I'll be happy if your dates are open and you could also wow, try. Wow, we would be honored to go. That Okay, I'm going to be there. You have to do that. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's really exciting. Um, now, what? who who joins these events? So you know, we don't have any... Diverse cultures? Yeah, it all started skills. like last year. Uh, we had Russian-speaking group and, and English-speaking group. Uh, but this year I just decided to, it was a bit more difficult to manage in terms of language. Yeah. Uh, so this year it will be purely in English. There will be few people from Russia and Ukraine and Kazakhstan, uh, but they're all English speakers. Mm -hmm. So there is no strict criteria. Like you don't need to make a certain amount of money. Uh, it's more value-based selection. So if you have your heart in the right place, your business is doing good, get, um, like good things for the world, you are totally a, a, a great um, person to join that. Awesome, and they can come from all over the world. Yeah. And it stays in Lombok. Lombok needs the, you know, the energy. It's a beautiful island here in Bali, and it was the island that actually had the big earthquakes. Yes. So amazing to bring more life and energy into of such course. a beautiful culture yeah. as we well. We have people coming from UK, from um, Costa, uh, from Colombia. So like, actually a lot of people are flying over just to join it. Well, I would be honored, and I know that my audience, especially whether this is in a live video or our podcast, would want to know more about, you know, just not just this upcoming mastermind, but more uh, masterminds. Where can they find more details about it and stay mm -hmm. connected to you yeah. and where, you know, they can find more? Uh, so there is a website, edv.co uh, slash mastermind. That's okay. where all the information is up. And of course, just find me on Instagram or Facebook. I'll give you all the details. Well, I love it. Is there anything more that you want to share with the audience that you think that really should, um, like an impactful moment as an entrepreneur that they should just really be aware of? Um, I just want them to leave with the thought that I said that everything in your business, it's actually about the shift in your mind. And the shift in your mind happens when you're in a group of people and you could see your problem under a different angle. There is always mm -hmm. a person who solved your problem and it's like plenty of them in the world. It's just you were not in touch with them. So seeing an opportunity and just, you don't need to even come to masterminds. If you get in the group of people over the dinner table, but you don't like scroll on Instagram, you actually open up and be yeah. vulnerable and say where you need your help. I think that's life changing. And being present. And being present, yeah. Right, and that we get so lost in the lack of presence. We're always on our phone. Yes. There's always things going on, and I think these are the, the best settings to allow someone to feel safe, to be able to be open, yes. vulnerable, and connect. Yes. Wow, you just got me super duper excited. <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. I'm excited we're going to your daughter's birthday tonight. Yes, see you there. <laughs> yeah, to hang out in, in Bali. And I know that we're going to do a lot more work together. And I truly appreciate you. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Yeah. Thank you. Wow, how amazing, right? To think about someone that not only takes what they believe in and what they love, but to pour it into other people. That's what I call a sexy brand. I hope you guys enjoyed today's show. Make sure you follow Luba. And I'm gonna leave you with this. If you're gonna create a brand, create a sexy brand. And if you're gonna be anything, be unstoppable. We'll see you on the next show. Aww.
Brand awareness is key in today's modern digital era. And with the rapid growth of social media platforms and the simplicity for all brands to compete on the same playing field, business owners have to start getting creative with how their brand message reaches their clients and customers. Hi, I'm Rhonda Swan, the CEO and founder of the Unstoppable Branding Agency and the Sexy Brand Building Formula Programs, where we help our clients create a sexy brand through strategic brand marketing, image, and film. I believe every small business owner deserves to stand out in a sea of marketing messages and make their competition irrelevant with the right brand image, brand message, and strategy. If your brand and marketing is well thought out, but design and images look terrible, no one will take your business seriously. If your design is beautiful, but your marketing message isn't planned out so strategically, it will fall flat on its face. That's where our team comes in. We help our clients restructure their brand image with photo shoots and create a winning combination of strategic brand building through impeccable design and great storytelling through film. The world of business has changed. Because of social media, customers and clients are looking for transparency and connection. A business owner can no longer hide behind a website or rely on their services to attract the perfect client. They want realness and they want to see the truth behind the brand. As you can tell, we do things differently. And if that excites you, I want to invite you to book a consultation or join us at our upcoming VIP branding retreat and let us help you turn your brand into a sexy profit-making machine.